Okay, let's work this example. We have two vectors, a 3 minus 2 and b minus 1 minus 4. And they're asking us to find the components of the vector sum, the magnitude of the vector sum, and the direction of the vector sum. Let's first pay attention to the notation. Notice that it is given to us in terms of two quantities, like here the 3 and the minus 2, and the minus 1 and the minus 4. These quantities look like they are of the same nature. And as far as we have learned, when we represent a vector in two dimension, we represent it by given the magnitude and the direction, or we can represent it by given the x component and the y component. When both quantities look similar with no units or the same unit, that tells us that we are given the components. If we were given a magnitude and a direction, they should give us the unit for the angle. It should be a different unit. So in this case, we are given the actual components of the vectors and the sum. So when we look here, we don't have to do step one. This is already done for us. Okay, let's go to the next, uh, next screen where, where this is done. Okay, so the components of A, 3, that's A sub X, minus 2, that's A sub Y. Then for B, BX is minus 1 by is minus 4. To find rx, we add ax to bx, so 3 plus minus 1, that gives us a 2. To find the y component, it's ay plus by, so minus 2 plus minus 4, that gives us minus 6. So my rx has an x component of 2 and a y component of minus 6. So the magnitude Pythagorean theorem, square root of rx squared plus ry squared. So in this case, 2 squared plus minus 6 squared. So we calculate this. This should come out to 632. Now, for the angle, we use the inverse tangent of the absolute value of the ratio. So the ratio is minus 6 to ry over 2. We take the absolute value of that, so that's 3. Tangent minus 1 of 3, that gives us 71.6 degrees. Then what we do, we come to a coordinate system. This is my x-axis, this is my y-axis. And we draw our r. So in this case, my rx is plus 2. So that's my Rx. My Ry is minus 6. Uh, you notice this is really not to scale, or the Y scale is different than the X scale. Okay, but that's my Ry. So this is the angle that we calculated as 71.6. Usually, we are asked to measure the angle relative to the positive X direction. That's a convention. So if we were going to provide it that way, so this is the angle we'll be asked to find. So that would be 360 minus the 71.6. That gives us the 288.4 here. 